So if you're lonely, you know I'm here waiting for you. I'm just a cross I'm just a shot away from you. And if you leave here, you leave me broken, shattered, alive. I'm just a cross Again, folks, this is Wayne Hart back with another lesson, and today we're looking at an absolute classic Franz Ferdinand and Take Me Out. A uh, few years old now, this one, but I'm going to show you how you can sort of adapt it and play it on an acoustic guitar. Uh, obviously, the original has got you know two guitars doing two different things, so I've adapted it that it's going to work. You know, if you've played solo, or I've got the aid of a loop pedal, which is really handy if you want to do the little riff as well. So, uh, without further ado. Let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, and we're going to do all of the intro with these octave chords. So what I mean by an octave chord, you're playing two of the same notes, but one of the notes is an octave higher. Okay, and the first one is an E. So I've got my first finger, that's going to go on the 7th fret on the A string, and my third finger is going to go on the 9th fret, that would be on the G. And we're going to try and mute. You'll probably do that anyway. If you just slightly lie your first finger down, we're going to mute the string in between, which is the... The D string, okay. So when we hit those two notes together, we've got an octave, we've got a you know, an E and then an octave E, okay. So the next chord, we're going to go to uh, an A octave chord, so that's just moving it now to the E string and the D string. So I'm on the fifth fret and the seventh fret, that's going to be a second chord. Uh, we're going to move all of that down the string, so now we're doing a D octave, so we're now on the 5th fret on the A and the 7th fret on the G, okay, uh, then the next one is a G octave, so we're on the 3rd fret on the low E and the D, mm -hmm. same shape chord, then we're going to go up to a B, so that's the 7th and 9th fret, and then we're going to go back to the E again, so if you see how that goes around, we've got, and it's nice to play that first octave with the low E string as well, so it just gives it a, a fatter sound. So if you're lonely, you got the A, D, G, B, back to E. See how that goes around? And then as we go into, we've got this little build up where it goes after we do that, I think it's four times round. And then we've got this little build up where it goes from the G octave to the A, back to the E again. So we go. And the little build up to the you know the main riff and what we'll call the chorus uh, so what we do now we go with G D F C and then we go back to the E again so that bit we go I know I OK, 
Okay, and it's nice to sort of do an E. Uh, I'm doing it up here on the, you know, boring off the fifth string root, so that's an E minor chord, boring off the A string root. Okay, so the chords that go around, uh, you know, what we call the chorus, and then the riff's going to come in. I'll show you the riff in a second. Will be an E minor. So we got a, an A minor. That's off the E string root. B minor, A minor, A minor, B minor. Okay, if you don't want to do it up there, I think it's more effective because you can get that, you know, that, that little chucker sort of feel about it. But you can play it with open chord, so you could do an E minor, you know, open. A minor, and then do the B minor off the fifth string root. I say, don't you know, you say, you don't know, I say, take me out. So you could, you know, you could play the open chords if you wanted, but like I say, it sounds a little bit nicer. I say, don't you know, you say, you don't know, I say, take me out. Okay, I think, you know, you can just get that chuck of that sort of reggae feel, if you can do that, you know. Uh, if if you, you can't really do that, it works perfectly well with the open chords. Okay, so the other section that we need is a... Uh, so again, you can play this with open chord. So it's an A minor, a C, and a D. I know I won't be leaving here. I know I won't be leaving here. I know I won't be leaving here. Okay, so again, you can do that, uh, you know, if you want to carry on doing that with bar chords, you've got the A minor, uh, the C, and the D, so we can get this. So you could do it either way, like I say, if you want to get that chuck of feel, I think it's more effective doing it like that. Uh, so that is pretty much, you know, chord-wise, the meat and potato of the song. Um, I use a lot of downstrokes on this, obviously this. And when I, you know, if you're using open chords, you know. So you could play it straight up. So down, down, down. So that's pretty much the meat and potatoes of the song with the chords and everything. Um, so we just got the riff. So this is really handy either if you're playing with somebody or you use a loop pedal or you can even record the, you know, the chords on a mobile device, on a phone or an iPad and then play the riff over the top if you want to practice at home. So we've got this. Um... Okay, so we're going to start with the second finger. That will be on the 8th fret on the B string. Third finger is going to grab the ninth fret on the G, so we've got this. Play that again. And we do a little pull off to the seventh fret on the G, so we got. And then the third finger is going to go on the D string on the ninth fret. And then we're going to go seven and nine, that will be on the G again. So put that together, we've got. Last little bit, we're going to go, uh, that's seven on the B string. And then it's going to go to the seventh fret on the G, so. Okay.
Okay, and then there's a subtle little riff, uh, I think, which the other guitar does throughout the song as well, through this bit, at least. Okay, so what I'm doing there, I'm barring, I'm covering the B and the E string on the 7th fret, and uh, I'm playing... So I'm playing the 7th fret first on the B, and I'm hammering my 2nd finger onto the 8th fret, and then I'm hitting the top E string after, so we get this. So we do that twice, and we grab the, with the third finger, the ninth fret on the G, so we get this. Okay, uh, the third time round we go, so we're going to do the little, you know, the hammer on to eight and then the top E string, but this time we're going to put the little pinky, that will be on the tenth fret on the top E, so we get this. We do the same move and then the second time and we're gonna go nine seven that would be on the G so put that together you got okay and that's the two riffs that you're gonna need and that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Out you all dug that. Uh, I still love that song. I know it's a few years old now. Probably coming up to nearly 20 years old. That. That's, uh, you know, where does time go? But uh, an amazing song. An amazing one to play with a friend. Or, like I say, with use of a loop pedal. Or if you want to record yourself on a mobile device. So you can practice doing a little lick as well. I think it's a great one. So, uh, hope you all dug that. If you've got any other requests for, uh, you know, any songs. Anything that's going to work on an acoustic guitar. Or electric. I am going to, at some point, start doing some electric guitar lessons soon as well. So uh, if you've got any requests, um, you know, anything 50s to modern day, a lot of you know the drill now, you can either comment in the post below, or a good way to reach me these days is on social media. So I'm Wayne R Guitar on Facebook, Twitter, and now also Instagram. Uh, and I'd appreciate it if you gave me a follow or a like on those platforms anyway, but that way, uh, you, you know, if you want to, you can send me a personal message requesting a song, or if you've got any questions, regarding the guitar you know about strumming patterns or anything buying a guitar anything you want to know i'm only happy to reply and oblige to that uh, you just got respect if you are requesting a song i do get hundreds of requests so I do have to hemp at them a little bit but don't let that put you off please do keep them coming uh thanks everyone for subscribing thanks for the continued support as always really really means a lot uh, a further way that you could help me out is one you know please like this video please share this video because I think word of mouth is a powerful thing. So if you've got any friends who've recently started playing or they might have been playing for a number of years, would like a little bit of inspiration with some great songs to play, you know, really appreciate it if you point them in my direction. But another way you could help me out, if you hit the little notification bell that's, I think, down there somewhere, you know, you're going to get notified every time I post a video up, which is which is fairly frequent to try and post them up at least, uh, at least once, you know, sometimes three times a week. So uh, I do sort of keep them coming and that's going to keep you on top of my videos. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Have a great morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching and I'll catch you all for lesson very soon. Take care.